is still in the morning and we're still feeling some type of good. You can still find us on White 54 on Facebook, White 54 channel on Twitter. Hashtag is what in the morning. Who are you crushing on, by the way? Are people stopped crushing as soon as COVID hit. I don't know. But I hope you're maintaining social distance. I hope you're washing your hands with running water and swap. I hope you're wearing a mask in public spaces. I just hope you're okay, right? We care about you. We need you around. Be good to yourself, all right? So we are asking a question. Okay, Mdogo, Yanni, when you were younger, what did you want to be when you grew up? And what happened? Kuna, when you confess, you are rogwa. And we to Zika and the left, right, up, down, and center. Let us know about your experience. Give us your two cents. And previously, we were trying to figure out is it us who do not trust the process, or is it that the process does not trust us? Guys, what do you think? I think uh, the process does not trust us. <laughs> <because> <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Eh? <laughs> because I feel like there are better ways to, to, to incorporate learning alongside talent, you know. Mm -hmm. There are more efficient ways we see in other countries, you know. Uh, uh, for, let me, I know about football, so let me say, talk about it. When in, mm -hmm. in high school, mm -hmm. you want to be a pro footballer, um, you still have to go through the normal hectic eight hours of school and then have your small session of one hour later mm -hmm. uh, that will never help you know setting up more academies which are just football the whole day and a little bit of basic learning and stuff that will help the footballers grow that will that will help them understand much more about this football and also establishment of more talent-based learning centers you know mm -hmm. which are, are a bit less in this country yeah and uh, also having Teachers specialize in not only in their subjects, but also specialize in other things, other other career careers for these kids, so that they may be able to learn more than history, physics, and chemistry. You know, mm -hmm. they can learn modeling at the same time in school. They have lessons for that. Swimming. Mm -hmm. You know, they put more into talent as they put also in in normal and basic education. I like your zeal, but yeah. I think we're a bit far. Because how many times yeah. have Sijui CAF officials come to check out our stadiums at Itutu yeah. to certify if we are good? And we there's are. nothing. We are very far. And that's how we've been pitied for hosting games how yeah. many times? And it will still simple, go, simple on go on and go on and go on. Simple, steady. Mm. Hashtag is why in the morning. Anyway, <laughs> also, COVID is here. We cannot even allow all students to go back to school because we don't have the capacity to, yep. you know, incorporate social distancing in our... Eh, we are, still, we are way far from that. <laughs> what do we do now? How do we help ourselves? Because at least not remember Serikali. You just have to do it by yourself, you know. Mm -hmm. Work on your own. If you feel like you can be good at modeling, do it at home. Couple of friends because you won't find uh, great facilities in this country which can really push your dream. So mm -hmm. you have to do it on your own. Yeah. So process, does it trust us? I'm an ACC. We're not trusting it. I feel like both <coughs> both sides apply. Mm -hmm. So, kwanza yao akurogwa. Kwanza uji kuomba, kwanza wakuomba na mamu. Usikubali kurogwa. I know uh -huh. they are there, but usikubali. You just trust the process. Mm -hmm. You know, and then let me say, um, apart from maybe saying the government do what, sometimes it's our own problems. Like, I feel like, you know, utapata, maybe in your family, everyone is a doctor. Your mom now wants you to be a doctor, biology, shiki, nothing, chemistry, nothing, you know. So I feel like, um, do, do you, do you. Yeah. If this is what you really want, just do it. You're being forced to be a doctor. You know, sometimes we obey parents, but you forget, like, you have a future ahead of you. As in, they won't be there, your relatives won't be there, no, no it's just you in the future. Mm -hmm. So those that, like, um, you just have to trust the process by yourself. I take kata, because nowadays we want um, vitu za raka raka. Mm -hmm. Eh, nimepacha job, mimi ni accountant, ikona pesa, mm -hmm. ume relax, to up with, you don't care about anything else, mm -hmm. umeona umefika, and maybe you're not happy. So it's good people to, like, trust the process, even though you fail, at the end of the day, like, mm, when I say manga, it just won't end up in tears. <laughs> it Premium. will end up in <laughs> <laughs> Premium vacations tears. and whatever. Ah, ah, ah. <clears throat> yeah, we'll see it will end up in tears. Believe it end up in vacations and good things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you fail, you just get up, you just push, keep pushing. Keep going. Yeah, you don't need the government or anything. You just need to trust yourself mm -hmm. yeah. and trust God too. 
I once interviewed a guy who did KCPE, KCPE primary yeah. for 13 years. 13 years. <laughs> so to say me akuapa, e county, amefanya class 8, aya, akapita. But akuna pesa za kumsonge shambele. So anenda county ingine kufanya the same class 8, eh? aya, kidogo, kidogo, ivo, ivo, ivo. Na me travel, by the way, and a few years later, yeah. kukaribu kumaliza kampo. Is it wow. that we do not have the resilience? Is it that we are? I can honestly tell you there's some circumstances that hit me in life. I, I just want to go back to my mom. Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> mommy <laughs> me at my big age. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Is it is it that? Is yeah. it that we're not taught to be tough? Ninini, nini at Sumboa, Andrew. For me, at mm -hmm. some point I can blame the society because I'm only this guy is going county to county, I can act after billet. As in, there's no one to help him, really. Ali yeah. Uliza had family members who you know, were a bit well off, but not so much help. That's not fair, because sometimes I feel like I can blame the society because we need them. We need the society mm -hmm. a lot. You know, because uh, we, I, I can't do it alone. Mm -hmm. yeah. You need the society to be there, to support you, to give you hope, like to bring you opportunities. Do such a look Okay, I told you to also make KCP for 13 years. Really, now it's not fair. It's <laughs> not in fact, I was high school, Akika Mwalimu. Uh, he was big enough to look like one of the teachers, not one of the students. And he still did it, by the way. Yeah. And when I was interviewing him, he was not angry with anyone. Which is a good thing. Kama, yeah. you know, he made it. And that's yeah. why mm. I say, don't, don't let failure is stop from moving on, from pushing yeah. on, even when you're alone. He, that in terms and now I call most for my see, mm. Yeah, that that's I, that's I great him. resilience. Yeah. In Can you imagine that. all those premium tears he cried? Yeah. <laughs> that means a whole generation of his friends have come and gone just yeah. like that, imagine. just like that. His imagine. age mates are ending just like that, just like that. And you know how kids can be cruel. What yeah. what owes them anything that comes <laughs> into their mouth? Why? <laughs> Why, why, why? Mm. So, mm. It, are we not built like that? Is it uh, something that we need to look into? Ama, was it by force? Did he have to do KCP? Me, Limuliza, was it by force? Did someone tell you you have? He said no, but it was my goal, and that's what I wanted. Don't you mean an evil? Andrew comment. You are not saying anything. <laughs> uh, okay, um, I think uh, 13 years is, is only mingi sana, you know? <laughs> like, <coughs> I feel like. Lazima mahali hapo katikati angepata opportunity mzuri ya kuenda high school poa because yeah. 13 years, ah, okay, hiyo ni resilience poa but ni ingine unheard of, you know, 13 mm -hmm. years KCP, sisi moja ilikuwa like, ah, My you know, friend. yeah, so imagine 13, but the level of resilience, you know, it doesn't have to be 13 years ufanya kitu ndo go through, mm -hmm. like, do it, the moment you start doing it, put in everything you're doing, okay? And try to make the time frame a bit shorter, okay? And if the society, the people around you aren't helping you, you know, they, they don't help sometimes. Sometimes uh, your family members, your, they heap too much pressure on you, negative pressure, oh, we were easy and uh, oh, we are so me. And that also does not help you. If they turn that negative pressure into positivity, mm -hmm. they put in funds to help you, they, they, they show you places, they talk to you in great ways, you know, mm -hmm. that also helps limit that time frame, you know. Taking that 13 years to two, three, you know, mm -hmm. not necessarily of KCP or anything, but, but anything you want to do, you know. The society around you, the people around you also need to, as she said, they need to hold your hand and, they, and you need to walk along with them work together and in the long run with all that help you will achieve your goals apa my pen a speech you to pick my coffee okay so we also had someone else on our social media page at wi-fi phone facebook commenting and said that he wanted to be on tv the first past time but his family kind of uh, Twisted him a bit, na kengia something to do with being a health worker and all these things. But sasa amejirudisha now. He's a gospel artist, and he his intent now is to be on all TV stations, ministering and all these things. Do you think that's also a factor? Like, ulikuwa tukufanya kitu, 
na unajua kimetoka kufanya hadi ushaanza because he said he was very good all four years of high school alikuwa sio anaandika he was reporting news and all these things which is fantastic out of way to be proactive but then suddenly you know sasa mwenye anakulipia school fees hoji mambia ngoe ndio itabidi tu ti nani yeah is is it a, a thing are we afraid to have our own opinion because tunona mtu mwenye ana to say idea literally already has a vision for us yeah. is it a problem is it a factor yeah i feel like um a lot of uh, young adults they fail cause you know they lack the opportunity cause sasa ukiambwa na mzazi you have to do this you know you have to do it do utaenda kutoa pe school fee you know it's up to you like maybe later in life utaka maybe ku realize niko na do niko na kamshahara kangu let me now do what i want you know you can just give it to your parents tell them mom nimesoma nimemaliza ndio <laughs> certificate yako now let me go get mine you know i feel like let that not stop you is it yeah. stop because um you will do something out of your free i'm not saying uko mbele hautakuwa na wazazi na the moment utafanya kitu unafurahia and you'll be successful they'll be proud mm-hmm. at the end of the day they'll be proud of and respect yeah so let that not stop you yeah do you think there's a pressure to be to have a title Yeah. The doctor nani to be engineer nani is is that pressure yeah there is especially from fa- family members who already have these titles you know they also want you to have that title or you will seem like a disgrace or something like that uh, but uh in our generation people want to be different things you know things that our parents may may not approve you know but i think parents guardians or sponsors whoever is giving that kid money to go pay his fees they should also give them the full autonomy to to wachague kenya wanataka kufanya ndo mtoto asikue sad ama aingie afanye hii course na roho nusu unajua tu like uta fail juu university si joke so yeah. lazima uingie na 100% of every, every everything you've got unaona mm-hmm. you go in do that course with all your heart ndo utaipass but ukiingia tuseme ulikuwa unataka kukua actor ama journalist alafu sasa umelazimishwa mzazi ya nini nini uko nini law ama unafanya unasoma udaktari hizo <laughs> miaka zote tena na kitu ulikuwa umepangia you know itainga stress kwa akili i didn't want to be here but i have to do it yeah so vile tu society parents hawa kitaka title hawa shapata zao hiyo haitaitoka kama ni doctor but ni doctor they want to see you driving a mercedes yeah, like but, them but you can also drive but that mercedes with other jobs they want you to be jobs. living comfortably in life not struggling 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 all the time there are a lot of jobs that don't have titles mm-hmm. that can give you that you, you yeah. look at music artists journalists they live like doctors and engineers but they lack that title like their names will just be if it's Ken Andrew not Dr Ken Andrew but they live the same lifestyle yeah. mm-hmm. so there are many other jobs apart from engineering doctor and law which they are great jobs also i'm not putting them down on anything but there are also other jobs which can give you a good lifestyle which also require a lot of hard works which are also essential mm-hmm. yeah not, is it hype do you think sometimes when we are growing up we're very impressionable so do you imagine that just because kuna kitu na trend sai for example right now we are about to have more artists than fans are we together like wasanii watakuwa wengi kuliko wa fans yeah so is that is is that why maybe some people want to be artists because of the hype because mona kina sailors wana kai vi walai wanaishi vi watu wanawatambua you know you can't walk these streets just like that if you are okay <laughs> like a tumbler, you know yeah. it's it's legit it's a thing because yeah. you you want to be where he is or you want to do what he's doing you don't know how he got there or how long unakumbuka wakongo alikuwa na kamiwa guys when he used to have his songs there's a whole story sijui ana va jeans sijui mama nani sijui what and now look at him na kitambi ameomoka you you don't know the process but you just want the the end result yeah. is that a problem also Let me say about the artists. I feel like in Kenya um right now as in not all of them there are some who are genuinely like the talent want to be a musician but I feel like um a lot of them is maybe peer pressure eh beshangu say na imba amejulikana ameomoka mimi na mimi ntenge studio ama wengine unapata maybe walimaliza high school ama um, class eight and they're like no I can't afford school fees I can let me try music mm-hmm. or something 
and that's where we go wrong like i'm on my feel exam kwa zile za ah genge to nitaweza sije kama umeongea vizuri eh nikiingia music tu nitakuwa tu sawa and that's where we go wrong you know nowadays kwa na college zenye hata if your class is dropouts you'll go and do hospitality mm-hmm. you'll you right now you can actually do everything you want as long as you have your certificate you know okay. Mm, as in msiko ni pressure ya kuomoka hivyo <laughs> unataka zulifela mm. maji unaona best yako ameimba ameweza so do you unaona tu utaweza you know yeah mm. it's like attracting failure too mm. i like that yeah. but what happens when we want to be influencers in this here city tunataka kwa ka recommend to to pate tu to abs to win if to pakeli hapo alafu to pose alafu to sumboe watu akunye tu poor poor is is that a thing now is is being an influencer a thing and is it okay if my baby wants ah uh, mommy i want to be an influencer when i grow up am i want to be a socialite is that no, okay because like they, they they are making money i guess <laughs> i don't yeah. know i yeah. don't know yeah. the bank rolls but i guess if it's a title and if we can host them on tv and they, they speak sense i guess so is it okay with you if your younger one if your niece your nephew wanted to be a socialite uh, mm. i think uh, all this came about social media instagram mm-hmm. and uh, the way um, people these days just do about anything to bring that attention to them if i had kids i I wouldn't want them to take that direction. See now have mm. we just not said that we should allow people to follow their dreams. Mm. Okay. Mm. <laughs> we should. But why but, but, but now? Uh, why is there but entering? <laughs> this is my kid. I, I'm talking about uh, he's still like let's say 18 and below. Uh-huh. He's still my my kid, you know, mm-hmm. my child. I need to take care of him and when he's 18 he can do anything that he wants, mm-hmm. you know. But under me 18 and below uh, some things i want to allow him to do <laughs> obviously no, obviously that one statement has negated everything no i mean saying. like everything i was saying i mean <laughs> when you get to university that uh-huh. autonomy should be there obviously you go through primary school and high school mm-hmm. you, you you'll have to do them because that's the education system in this country mm-hmm. but aside from that learning when you come out uh, there are other things mm-hmm. your kids they they'd want to do them because of this exposure and stuff but they aren't necessarily right for the the younger kids to really go into them mm-hmm. um, we've been seeing uh, the past weekend how how teenagers have been explosive Minus, you know uh-huh. yeah and i think going forward we should really limit social media and what they see on it mm-hmm. and and uh, some types of influencers that's that's the biggest fear any parent will have at the moment you know mm-hmm. so i'm not saying it in a bad way uh, anyone who's an influencer can keep on doing their thing but Look, if it's a kid a mm-hmm. child you should really limit what she she or he sees on social media because it goes a long way yeah. i think that's a bit tough especially for this generation yeah. that two year olds who know how to use a tab yeah me when i was two years old i think but nkola kula mchanga guys hey 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 swing to sijui blada i mean really i have marks guys <laughs> evidence of our well lived childhood yeah. but right now people know how to open tabs they know how to go to youtube bila kuuliza okay. so where where is the line where do we say this is not good and this is okay you know like tuseme you know between 1 day to 18 years old you have your baby you know mm-hmm. yeah. so it's up to you to as in kutumia tab and mimi naweza taka mtoto wangu eh watu yeah, wakitaza yeah. ps mtoto wangu pia kwa anajua kutaza ps you mm-hmm. know you don't want them at they feel like mbona si kufunzwa mapema you know mm-hmm. so me just say you do unadunaweza kwa influence in a good way mm-hmm. niko na mtoto wangu eh hey, she knows how to pose she wants pictures all the time she wants all these It's okay. Mm-hmm. As una una guide from when I was young, though maybe akifika 18 atajua to be an influencer, influencer in the right way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Do you have to work with your kid? Because mm-hmm. a lot of parents really don't. Wewe bora mtoto umemza, anakula, umemlipa school fees ni hivyo, but do you mm-hmm. spend time with your baby. Mm-hmm. And then vitu zingine ka influencing zio kujaleta in life. Tutaona maybe mtu yata realize eh hey, Instagram kuna huyu msia na pop I wanna be like her and stuff yeah. and like you have to take that time with your baby ujue anataka nini can he swimming and then he swimming akiwa mdogo una msomo na try to understand eh hey, 
she likes he likes football she likes dancing and stuff you start molding your child like you mdogo do the moment you don't care when we lipa school fees amenda atafunza na watu wa ulimwengu ataenda huko high school atafunza vitu funny funny utaka mseme no this not i never raised you like this but at the end of the day part of her being like that is the parents fault cause maybe they never cared like bora tu alienda shule you don't know what she's doing you don't know her favorite subject yeah so i feel like um it's all start with the parents from toto akiwa one day old hiyo ni mali yako you know it's it's up to them to learn their kids to make sure they pursue something they like na kama hata uju as in unampeleka to swim or dance classes i don't realize enyo mtoto wangu anapenda ina hii sasa una mold hivyo hata kuja kwa influencer um in the with negative energy social media yeah mm. when you raise them good they'll be good kids okay na skia pony exposure do, do you think that maybe perhaps at some generation that could expose sana to the things that are out there because exactly. when i was yeah. When I, I think I'm still growing up, guys. But when I was younger, <laughs> when I was younger, it, you either had to be a doctor, you yeah. had to be a lawyer, mm -hmm. you had I to be who? Apo kwa physics. <laughs> Me, I tell you, I, it was never an option for me. Hey. Thank you, Sam. Anyway, yeah. So it it was just these things. Yeah. And you felt like a person that you needed like ili kwa tu cha lazima kama kama stafanyi hivi I won't be useful in society you know vitu kazi za mkono at the time wasn't something that you would look forward to doing ni 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 by the way ah so sijafanya hii wacha tu ninge but what if tuambie watu haya by the way unajua unaweza fanya hii na hii na hii you can go to media you can do ir sia watu wazee peke yake you can be you can go into sports you can be a professional analyst na bado atamikdo did you know that you can be a consultant did you know did you know did you know sai tunasema tumerogwa is it perhaps maybe we didn't know so we wanted to be things that ndani ya tukua tunataka eh zikuwa tu ni tuju tunasikia lakini hata ndani si wenyewe atakuwa tunataka kuzifanya vile life imeendelea social media as much as kuna wale watu wanaeka negativity kidogo ndani una reading stories these days you see a lot of stories how people have really come up from from zero to nothing and they inspire you and also ukiwa na kamera yako ukiwa na setup yako unaweza fanya influencing in a good way mm -hmm. you can be an analyst you know just mm -hmm. instagram okay you are doing your other acting you have your business career but on instagram you break down sports modeling uh, you music you know uh, that's the is one of it to pour social media in later and if we can put more light into it no no and also these days you see a lot of girls uh, especially girls i know about girls they go on social media they don't need to they show people their makeup tutorials you know yeah. they show people their businesses you know those are the great things that social media has done to our generation you know mm -hmm. and also i'd like uh, the, the generations coming after us to also experience it to use it as a platform to build themselves to to maybe make their dreams come true because you can also realize oh my i can't be a footballer but i can be an analyst you know i can be a uh, someone who does these vintage videos for football and stuff there, there are a lot of things you can do in social media instagram twitter that we did not know before like when i was in form 1 form 2 but when we finished high school it it all became clear and we see a lot of people embracing it these days so that's a really that's a big plus for our generation and everything mm -hmm. yeah my favorite thing about the past decade in terms of creativity is things that didn't make sense before are making sense now. Ungeambia mtu anataka graphic designer or sijui what. Back then in fact course yenyewe I think ilikuwa watu watano. Unaenda tu juu umeitwa. You know you have that kakoli inside you. Look at people now. Look at a whole enterprise to kuna kina flako sijui mola mwa. That whole Churchill enterprise just opposed is feeding people opposed is buying people Mercedes opposed Jamaneni guys. Eh? That's my favorite thing about this past 
decade. They've, they've, they've shown us you, you yeah. don't really. Now what, I, I don't know their background, all of them, yeah. but I am aware that they, some of them went to school. Like, basically, walikuwa nafanya kitu before now we realized we opened it up for them, said, by the way, enda tu utuambie joke, kata tu mamito, tutakufuata Instagram. Na ukushafuata upate kwa katik, bas, brand ambassador. Ukushafuata brand ambassador, nani si account ina cheka vizuri. Ama namna gani my for rent. Ta imagine, vitu tu ndogo hivyo. God bless social media. It, it's a tool that means it can be used well or, or misused, yeah. but yeah. it's a tool either way. Yep. And now we have some <coughs> more of your thoughts at Wi-Fi on Facebook, Wi-Fi on channel on Twitter. Hashtag is one in the morning. We have a Bernard Paspas. Says, wanted to be a, a lawyer, but I did accounts. Now I'm an actor. Hiya! And cameraman and editor. <laughs> Note, I did not attend school of editing and camera from Wiki. Oh my God! <laughs> Could you have to? Okay, we're going to talk about this in a bit. Sharon Alulu says, I wanted to study business management and, and medical, but my dream was cut off with my own mom when I was in class seven. Uh -huh. Second time, it was my last, last to go to school. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. Menje, good morning. How are you? Karibu sana na joto mezoya jioni. When we have good time, but we also have good time uh, constructively <laughs> in the morning at what we on Facebook. Okay, I like this because sometimes we want to put blame somewhere, but you know, it could just be life. It could just be circumstance. I have interviewed a couple of artists who have told me they started in music, but maybe their caregivers passed on or something happened, and then they had to stop everything and just feed the family. And then when they grew, 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 now he came back or they came back too. So, guys, things happen. A man, James, our star student. <coughs> I knew that Ntakwa greatest artist of all time. Now see my life, oh, not even far from the best. Life is so choosy. Jesus, come and rescue me, I beg. Oh, yeah. All right. A chi man, oh, what, my cheesy. <laughs> Mimi by tw two or seven, ni kwa na plan kwa sajon. Twenty ten, ni karudi daktari. Twenty fifteen, ni kona tana si kusao. Twenty twenty, kazi ni kazi. <laughs> Tell me something else. Twenty twenty, I start you. Oh my gosh, kazi ni kazi. Na bora uha, bora uhai. Eh, hey, okay. So, uh, in conclusion, Sangha, because I don't know why time is running away. Okay, the last thing I'm going to say before you guys, I want you to conclude very shortly, is we, we have had that phenomenon that is Yego. Yego Sali Jifunza Vitu YouTube. Yeah, so please don't feel that you need to be in an institution. And our friend here on our Facebook page who said, Ali and Astu Kutakua lawyer, Kasomas Junini, but now is in editing and filming and all these things, and something that is self taught. So. There are some things that will not allow you to sleep at night. Do, do, wake up and do, okay? Hey guys, help me finish this. Mm, um, I want to tell everyone who's watching or will watch that it, it's you, you know? As she said, teach yourself things. In, in this day and age, you can, you can afford that. YouTube is, is free, you just need Wi Fi or bundles. Teach yourself things. if. If you are doing what your parent or society or whoever wants you to do, you can also do the other things that will be taught by the, mostly it's Indian guys on YouTube. <laughs> Follow them, learn about it. If you want to be an editor, try to do it. You can kill two birds with one stone. And also determination and hard work and your dreams will come true. Yep. All right, Judy, and you? Uh, the hard work for once, hot it for once, right? Yep. And like, no human is limited. Usamati, we may have said, "Makazi ni kazi bora pesa." Like, utafanya kazi ni upendi, and then at the end of it all, you'll die saying, "You wish, you wish you did this and this and this." So you just keep trying. Someone tried for 13 years, and now they are about to achieve their goals. So don't stop. Don't 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 um useke. Kikomo, kwa sababu meonati, nothing is working out. Things will work out just their own time. Everything a step at a time. Yeah. I like that. I recently became a fan of Adelo Nyango's, uh, what's it called, podcast, Legally Clueless. Yeah. And in one of the sessions, Kagwe, uh, not Meshimiwa, no, not Uncle Corona, the other one that we are used to, Kagwe Mungai, mm -hmm. he said you're always where you're supposed to be at any given time. Mm -hmm. So don't, guy, please just be good to yourself. Be gentle, yeah. all right? Don't, don't st stress yourself from the inside so the night comes out. Just be good to yourself, be, be kind. The process is you, okay? You're the one growing. <laughs>
be easy be easy and and work smart not all the time hard okay be Z. Yeah. What five four Facebook, what five four channel, Twitter hashtag is Wine the Money. Thank you so very much for taking this ride with me. It has been amazing. We have a repeat scheduled at two p.m. All things remaining constant. And <laughs> guess what? Kuna Wine the Money ingine kesho. Kwanza ya hip hop na ingine tukutane so so Friday. But we do insist that you have an amazing rest of the week and day. Yeah. Bye.